Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Just got out on the water. Um, and I'm going lake trout fishing today. It's going to be a really nice day out. Um, probably only going to lake trout fish for the first couple of hours here during the day. Uh, just because it's going to get a little bit warm. Um, I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, but it's early summer now. So the water temps are still rising. I don't want to, you know, put too much stress on these fish. So if I do catch any, it's going to be up, unhook, back down right away. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't lake trout fished in a while. Uh, so let's see if we can find some and see if we can get some to bite. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on the screen here if I can. This is such a game changer. I can see which way they're going. I can see everything. I can't believe he ate it twice. <laughs> oh, he mocked it. Like that <laughs> he's not very big probably about I don't know eight pounds <laughs> I have to get him to come back but he came back hit it once I missed him hit him twice he got it he's right here he's <laughs> tangled now destroyed the Miyagi in and back out. And there he goes. <laughs> that was sick. That was so sick. Not a big fish to start, but I'm happy we finally got one and uh, got him pretty good. That time. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna be a little bit deeper than where I usually find them. So we're gonna venture out to that. Uh, I usually, you know, fish them around 70 to 80 feet. We're gonna head out to the 90, 100 and see what's going on over there. That's sick. <laughs> Did you guys see this? He's circling, he's circling, the one popped up on the bottom. They're fighting for it. There's four. I bait right there. Do you guys see though, with persistence on, you can see which way they're turning, where they're going. It's so sick. Like this guy's turning around a little bit. Fish coming in on bottom right here. You guys can see that. I'm gonna go down there. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. Oh yeah, he's coming. Come on. 
you know, I'm back. Oh, it came off again. No. I got that guy's little friend. <laughs> Ate like right at the surface. Oh, my bait came out. There you go, guys. No wonder I couldn't get him to bite. Ready? Torpedo! There he goes. <laughs> so sick. So sick. I'm gonna stick, uh, I'm gonna stick my phone on the Mega Live so you guys can see what I'm seeing because this is absolutely like some of the sickest stuff I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> see, I do still have sonar on just because I can't, like I haven't dialed. dialed this in yet and past about 60 feet I can't see too well so I still have sonar on my Ultrex just to make sure I don't miss anything but I'm sure with time I'll get this dialed I just kind of want to fish right now <laughs> another one there All right, guys, it's way too hot. I'm like dying. Way too, way, way too hot. All right, guys, we are back. That is a wrap for our little morning of fishing. It's like 12 o'clock now and it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, it's not actually 100 degrees, I think it's 35 degrees Celsius, um, and there's no wind. It was just way, way too hot for me, and I honestly didn't really want to bring the lake trout up in this uh, in this just scorching heat either, um, especially if they were, you know, I was going to get on a couple of bigger ones. They aren't as resilient, I guess, as the ones the size I was catching today. Uh, but overall, had a total of four hookups. Two fish landed, one fish lost, um, and then one fish I set the hook into and just popped off. So overall, not a bad morning. Uh, the size wasn't really there. I mean, the biggest one was probably like eight pounds, six to eight pounds, um, but a lot of fun. It was really cool to bring out the uh, Mega Live right there on the water super super cool i do have to play around with the settings a little bit as you guys saw i kind of um lost my my lure after 60 feet or so so i do have to play around with the settings i will eventually do that it was so cool so cool being able to see the lake choke see how they react see how how they turn which way they go um it was really cool to see actually that most of them came out from deeper water and went back to deeper water. So next time I might go try a little bit deeper as well. I got them all today on my old faithful right there. Freedom Tackle one ounce head right there. I got the Freedom Tackle screw lock hook there. I believe it's a three out or four out. And then the Beast Coast Miyagi Swimmer 
Um, 90% of the time, this is what <laughs> I'm throwing right there for lake trout. But yeah, I'm gonna leave my uh, lake trout combo, you know, rod, reel, line, and bait, of course, down below in the description. You guys can go check the links out if you wanna have a look. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Nice change of pace from the bass a little bit. Um, probably gonna go out a couple more times, maybe when it cools down a little bit, but overall, very fun morning, and I'll see you guys in the next one.